Ellen DeGeneres was once called the funniest person in America back in 1984, and her talk show was one of the most popular ones out there. But now that her talk show is finally coming down to a shocking end, and that too because of toxic workplace behavior, it looks like it's high time to highlight a few times Ellen made her guests a little too uncomfortable on the show. Let's get right into it. First up, when Ellen tried to lie about being invited to Dakota Johnson's birthday party. There was this one time back in 2019 when the famous Fifty Shades of Grey actress Dakota Johnson was invited to Ellen's talk show. To be honest, right off the bat, it felt like the conversation wasn't going smoothly. In fact, it looked like the audience was feeling a little uneasy. But then Ellen made a mess of the whole situation after saying she wasn't invited to Dakota Johnson's birthday party. Of course, Dakota had none of it and nicely corrected her. And it looks like this isn't the first time Ellen brought it up with her on her talk show. Apparently, the last time Dakota was on the show, Ellen made fun of her for not getting invited to her party, and she took it. But this time, she felt the need to speak up a about it and share the truth. Apparently, she did invite Ellen DeGeneres to her party. Ellen just never showed up. And that's when the conversation completely went sideways. The talk show host tries to keep the conversation normal by asking why she didn't go, but Dakota replies with an incredulous smile that she didn't know and might have been out of time. But at this point, Ellen had already made Dakota really uncomfortable. Next up, when Ellen couldn't pay for a girl's tuition. This one's a good one, <laughs> or a bad one, to be honest. Anyway, one time, Ellen invited a girl up on her talk show, and in the conversation it came up that she was actually pre-dental. In response, Ellen commented that she would have to go through a lot of college, and immediately after that, the topic of tuition came up. Shockingly, the girl replied that it was over $50,000, which was obviously a lot. And it looked like Ellen had already planned on completely paying for the girl's tuition, so she wouldn't have to worry about paying for so much college, which was exactly what she started getting into after the interviewee mentioned the tuition. Apparently, Shutterfly was going on to help pay for the girl's complete tuition fees, and just as she was about to completely reveal it to the audience when one of Ellen's assistants had to come up and cut her off, they weren't. Immediately, the entire atmosphere of the place changed. Ellen couldn't process it for a second, asking, what does this mean? But the truth was that Ellen couldn't pay for the girl's tuition fees. Instead, she was getting a laptop. Really awkward. It was even more awkward when the girl shared that she already had a laptop. Coming up, when Ellen got frustrated with a child for talking too much and then mocked him. If you thought the last story we shared about Ellen was bad, get this. Sure, there might be times when Ellen might mock celebrities, but there should be a line. Our favorite talk show host has zero problems with mocking children, too. When she invited a boy, Feng Yi, onto her show, her conversation with him once drifted to her asking the kid how long he'd been playing the ukulele. And like a lot of kids, he talks a lot. Not to mention, what he said had to be translated into his native tongue, Mandarin. Immediately when he did so, Ellen looked visibly annoyed. Also, when she asked Feng if there was any other instruments he wanted to learn, the translator started explaining in Mandarin how much he already knew how to play the guitar. But halfway through, she was cut off by Ellen saying, it's just one question. Throughout the entire interview, DeGeneres constantly kept asking if it was important to have flexible fingers in Taiwan. But her side comments were probably the worst of all. Things like when she said, he's a talker, huh, to the translator. Not to mention there was a time in the interview when Feng Yi started gesturing as he described how fast the cars he sees zooming down the LA roads. Immediately, DeGeneres decides to correct him, saying that no cars jump and mocks him for not knowing it. Of course, when people heard about how much Ellen ripped a little 11-year-old kid for literally nothing, she was literally destroyed online for it. Following up, when Ellen relentlessly questioned Taylor Swift about her love life. If someone out there deserves an apology from Ellen DeGeneres, it's definitely Taylor Swift. Let's talk about a time Ellen made her uncomfortable for five minutes straight. Anyway, in the interview, DeGeneres keeps on calling Zac Efron Taylor's boyfriend even when the singer keeps trying to correct her that they had, in fact, never dated before. Ellen kept on doing it, 
even going as far as to insist, yes, you did, why do you deny it? Clearly, Taylor looks pretty uncomfortable at this point, so Ellen decides to shift to another topic, who the song We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together is even about. And she doesn't even try and guess by listing names. Instead, Ellen goes another step further into douchebag territory by displaying images of Taylor with various men over the years and then telling her to ring a bell when they land on the right guy. At this point, Taylor is really uncomfortable with what's going on. She shares that she's already unsure about doing this and that even if she did, it would be the one shred of dignity she had. But Ellen seriously couldn't care less even if she tried. Even after she started showing the images on the big screen, Taylor voiced her concern asking, do you know how bad this makes me feel? Ellen then even proceeds to ring the bell for her and continues to pester her over this to the point Taylor was literally begging her to stop. Not that Ellen cared. Moving on, when Ellen crossed a line mocking Celine Dion's son. This happened in an interview between Celine Dion and Ellen DeGeneres in 2007. Things were going pretty well at first, but then the host immediately started to criticize her young son's hair right in front of her. In Ellen's exact words, it seems like you're busy with something because you're forgetting to cut your son's hair. And she said this as an actual joke. Most of the time jokes are funny, but when it's at the expense of someone, those aren't funny. They're not jokes. Anyway, this was exactly what made Celine Dion immediately so uncomfortable. And what was even worse about the whole situation was that Ellen wouldn't stop talking. Ellen added that her son was beautiful, but the hair definitely wasn't. She even went on to ask when they were going to cut his hair. And just like that, these comments immediately sent Dion into ultra mama bear mode, where she got into a pretty defensive rant about motherhood and as well as the struggles of always being in the limelight. She describes it best in her very own words, whatever I will do, I won't please anyone. Finally, Kanye West's infamous eight-minute rant. One of the most iconic rants ever happened in a talk show between the host Ellen DeGeneres and the no-filter Kanye West. To be honest, we're all pretty used to it at this point that Kanye West is constantly sending out wild tweets and randomly ranting whenever he feels like it, but it actually stalled the Ellen show for eight whole minutes back in 2016. In this fascinating interview, DeGeneres asked if the rapper had ever regretted any of her previous previous tweets. And that was right after West, who is 46 years old, went on a non-stop rant about his upbringing, his future dreams for the country, and how he usually acts when he's fidgeting in a car. Kanye West got so into it that eventually the host completely and totally gave up on trying to cut in and gain control of the interview. Of course, West's rant had to eventually end at some point, and that happened eight minutes later after the rapper ended his outburst by saying sorry to daytime television, and that he was sorry for the realness. Honestly, this might be a list of all the times Ellen DeGeneres made her guests feel uncomfortable, but Kanye West played some sort of Uno reverse card on them, where he made her more uncomfortable about the situation than he felt himself. There might be a lot to say about Kanye lately, but we've got to give it to him for this one. And that's a wrap for this video. Were you surprised by any of the stories on this list? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.